In this video, we're going to boot a pre-built Linux system on Snickerdoodle using an Ubuntu host machine. You will need your Snickerdoodle, a micro SD card for the Linux image, and a micro USB cable for the serial console. The first step is to fetch the sources which can be found at github.com slash critical. To do this, we will use git clone on the Snickerdoodle Linux pre-built repository. You can also download a zip file to the repository using your web browser. Inside the cloned repository, you will find boot.bin, device tree, Linux uImage, RAM disk, and UENV text files. At this point, you can connect your micro SD card to your host machine where it can be formatted and loaded with a Linux system. In this video, we're using fdisk to partition the SD card located at dev sdb. You can use the mount command to check exactly where your disk is mounted in your system. Using sudo, we launch fdisk to begin building our partition table. Using P, we can view the partition table. As you can see, this SD card already has a FAT32 partition taking up the entirety of the SD card. We'll delete that partition and recreate it using the D command, and then the N command to create the new partition. We'll specify the partition as our primary partition, and we will allow it to take up the entirety of the SD card. To do this, we will use 2048 as the first sector, and the default value for the last sector. The value of the last sector will vary based on the size of your SD card. We can use P to view the newly created partition table, and we can see a Linux system partition mounted at dev slash sdb1. We can use T to change the partition type, followed by L to list the partition codes. We will find FAT32, the desired partition type, listed as code C. We can use P to view our newly finished partition table, and W to write it to the disk. We can use fdisk again to verify our SD card is partitioned exactly how we want it. Using the makefs command, we can add a unique name to our SD card. This can be especially helpful if you want to allocate SD cards for specific projects. The first step is to unmount the partition on the SD card which you wish to name. Then using makefs.vfat, the flag n the name which you like to specify, and the partition you wish to name. When MakeFS is finished, you should see that your SD card has now been renamed. The final step in the SD card preparation is to copy the files from the pre-built Linux image onto your SD card. We do this here using cp from the command line starting with boot.bin. Once finished, we can eject the SD card and prepare to mount it into Snickerdoodle. We can insert the micro SD card into the captive SD card cage. Lock it into place. Connect our micro USB cable, which gives us power and a serial console. Once connected, we can use dmessage to see exactly where the connection is located we can see this one is located at TTY USB 0. To view the serial output, we will use screen with a baud rate of 115 200. Other terminal emulators, such as Minicom, will also work.